Welcome all, welcome again to Analytics with Anand. So this will be the lecture number 36, where we'll be covering all about the new Snowflake UI. I keep getting all the mails on LinkedIn and also from my personal mail, so classic console is gone, gone. Now I'm not able to proceed what to do. So this is very, very simple, guys. You don't have to approach to me. Even if classic console is gone, if those who are watching this video for the first time, whenever you will sign in, in or whenever you will sign up in the uh, snowflake there was an option for the classic console which are which you will be seeing in all my videos but unfortunately that is gone completely almost is the same it's 60 to 70 percent ui same here just it is more organized in the snow side so do not panic i will tell you everything i will explain you how you can load the table and what are the concepts which you can follow here if you have gone through all my lecture series or classic other, you don't have to worry at all. This will be just a short session, hardly a thing. It will be 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So be there. Any doubt anyone is having in this new UI, you can let me know in the comment section. Okay. Good evening, Rohit. Right. So welcome, welcome back again to Analytics with Anand. Please do subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. After Snowflake, I will be coming with a Metallion ETL tool, which is highly used. Now, it is highly recommended to all of you, those who are watching this video, you need to learn Snowflake. You need to learn these days, cloud technology, one skills you need, and Snowflake is on the top notch today compared with AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. Snowflake is really, really required. You, you go in any company. If you have this cloud technology knowledge, it will really help you. And in my team, the current company which I'm on, there are 40 openings straight for the snowflake if you need if you if you are aware of the snowflake if you know all the concept if you have gone through all my lecture number 34 till 35 you will be able to crack this interview and i'll be taking your final round that also i'm revealing you right so only those who has two years of minimum experience working in the analytics industry feel free to drop your resume on my linkedin and i'll make sure you are being interviewed but not below two years i cannot help you right because there's a strict requirement of four years but still i'm making it two years for you right so that i can push your resume because i have been training you all people since long time so if you have two years of experience working in the analytics industry do reach out to me on my linkedin id you know my linkedin id or you can mail me also right your resume and i'll be ready to help you so i welcome you all into this platform let's start straight and if you have any concern related to this class do let me know in the comment section Sounds great, right? And one more thing, like uh, uh, August 12, I'm planning to launch, launch full-fledged data analytics course, which will be taken completely by me, Saturday, Sunday class. More about the details, I have told already in the shorts video, which I'll be coming up uh, through the complete syllabus, UI, everything is work is going on. Till then, those who have not voted on the cost, which you want me to keep, please vote on LinkedIn and also in the YouTube community section. There's a poll already have created in my analytics with Anand on the uh, LinkedIn platform and also in the community channel of YouTube. So go and please do uh, uh, select the right options over there, whatever the cost you want. Many of you have attempted $40. Guys, please justify this cost. 10 tools you'll be learning. Come on. 10 tools, SQL, Python, Power BI, W, Excel, Metallion, Google Cloud, Azure, and it's an eight-month course. It's not a piece of joke. And it's not like traditional learn SQL in 499, five days, learn Power BI in three days. No, nothing like that. In reality, it doesn't work. 
No, SQL only will take three months. Power BI will take two months. Tableau will take one month. Excel will take one month. Statistic will take, R will take. So it's a comprehensive eight months of course. And that is the guarantee I'm giving you after going through this eight months rigorous training. You will never be rejected in any interview. Open challenge, I'm throwing this. Okay, you will never be rejected. Everything I'll concept in great detail. Already this YouTube session will go along with that, but that will be a paid course so that we are more regular on Saturday, Sunday, basically. That detail I'll discuss in the upcoming video. So stay tuned. Do vote if you have not done so on the community channel and also on the LinkedIn platform. Right? Let me share my screen straight away now. And if you have any doubt anywhere, you can let me know. Okay? Let me zoom a bit. Let me share my screen. So give me one minute. Yeah. So those who are watching this video live, I have one question for you. Have you guys created your Snowflake account? You are aware of the Snowflake? Anyone is here new who doesn't know about the Snowflake at all, who has not gone through the playlist of Snowflake? Anyone here or everyone is aware? I believe all of you know what is Snowflake, how does it work, if you have gone even through my single video, right? Everyone is aware, right? So when will you go through all my playlist video, you will see I am working on the console, which is entirely different in the console, which I'll be sharing right now in front of you. Let me share that. One. Yeah. So this is the console which you get these days. This is the snow side console, right? Snowflake gives you 30 days free trial or for few account it gives you 40 days. So this is the account which you will be getting it. Right, when you log in for the first time. Now, there's no option to enable classic console. Earlier, if you have gone through my videos, you might have aware that you go to the profile section and you have the option here of changing to classic console. But there is no option here. But there is no option here. Right? So the moment you log in, you will get account like this. So we are the account admin. You'll have the role account admin, organization admin, public security admin, system admin, and user admin. Now, when you'll work in the analytics industry, if your company is using Snowflake, you won't be having the option of this. Only public and the role which you have been assigned, that will be given to you. Only the public and the role which has been assigned to you, you may be assigned any DDL role, DML role, any role. That role only you will see along with the public profile. You won't be seeing the account admin. Account admin is strictly for the administrator, right? That is not for you, right? That is not for you. Here, since I'm using my account, right? I'm using my friend's account, Charles account. So that's why it says the account admin. By default, it will be selected, right? By default, it will be selected, right? If you go to the profile section, it will talk about your username. Many a times, like if you connect your Snowflake with external, like Google Cloud or Azure or Metalion or any HS, it will ask you for the username of your Snowflake. So this is the username of your Snowflake. Go to your profile section. Go to your profile section and you will find your username here. I will, and you will find your username here. This is all the account level information which you can find it. What is this notification? Notify when query finished in the background. This also you can enable it. You should enable it so that you know. Suppose you're having lunch. You are running a piece of code for two hours. You want a notification. Code ran successfully. So you can enable this notification also. Now, these days, all this Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, everywhere you see, even in the Google Drive also, you have this multi-factor authentication. You can enroll for this also, where you will get an OTP and all those things. I have not enrolled, right? Just have left it, but you can enroll also. Start setup, right? Two-factor installation, you can start this setup also. Mobile phone, mobile phone recommended. Continue. I will say, say India. India is here. Set up. I will recommend to set up two factor authentication number. Double nine zero. Double nine zero. Five three zero. Five three zero. Double five three zero. Double five three zero. Give your number and set up your right. What type of phone it is? Android. So Android. Select accordingly, and and you have to install this. Right. Duo mobile. Because everywhere, if you work in any analytics company, you see this Microsoft authentication. Right. I have covered this in the Azure section. Right. So company phone, you won't be able to log in directly to the company portal. No, there will be two factor authentication enabled for you. So you have to install this app there. The code will come that code. You have to insert it right now. I'm not doing it. You can do it right for two factor authentication. Right for two factor authentication. So today I'm discussing classic console, right? We might bank channel. I'm discussing the classic console, well, which is gone. So I'm discussing the new console, new user interface, which has come up called the snow site. How you can work it, how you can work it. 
right? So I'm in the profile section where you'll find all this role information, right? Documentation, support, privacy notice, and you can sign out from here. So this is just your profile section. I'm just giving a walkthrough of the new uh, snow site UI so that you guys all are aware of this because I keep getting all this mail. Sir, classic console is gone. I'm not able to proceed. There's nothing to panic here. It's very, very simple, straightforward at all. Straightforward at all, right? You have this worksheet, you have this dashboard, you have this app, you have this data, marketplace, activity, admin, help and support. One by one, we'll see it. Now, the worksheet will contain list of all the active worksheet which you have created, it, right? All the list of active worksheet. Now, if you are very new to Snowflake, if you don't see the worksheet, there is a three dot here. There is a three dot here. Suppose you have the SQL file already. You have the SQL file already. Now you want to create a worksheet from SQL file. Just click on this. Just click on this. Create worksheet from SQL file. Upload the SQL file. It will ask you for the upload documents. It will ask you for the upload. Let's see any, any document say. Yeah, SQL file is there. See this. I'll just open it. It will take it. And here you go. All your SQL file will come here. Right. That's the beauty. You can directly import your SQL query here so that you don't have to copy paste. So that you don't have to copy paste. Just go to the worksheet. Just go to the worksheet. Click on the three dot. Create worksheet from SQL file. Select the worksheet. Whichever you want. Any SQL worksheet it can be. Any SQL worksheet it can be. Just select it. Open. It will enable your all your work. All your whatever SQL code you have written. That will come here automatically. The moment you select it. Right. So this is one way of importing your SQL worksheet. Any worksheet, if you have created for that, you can import it directly in the worksheet section. Now, what is this plus sign? I've talked about the three dot. I've talked about the three dot. Create worksheet from SQL file. What is this plus sign? Ah, sir, how I can create my SQL worksheet? That would be my next question. How I can create my SQL worksheet? That should be my next question. Right? Mm -hmm. How I should create? So here it gives you the option of creating the worksheet using three options. Any Python worksheet if you want to create, any SQL worksheet you want to get. I want to create my blank document where I'll be writing my SQL code. So I'll click on SQL worksheet. As simple as that. As simple as that, my worksheet will get created. My worksheet will get created. Right? My worksheet will get created. My worksheet will get created with this. I can rename it. Rename it. Testing worksheet. Testing worksheet. I can rename it. Testing worksheet. Always like a classic console. It's almost similar to classic console. It's almost similar to classic console. Just the UI part it differs. Just the UI part differs. Right? If you go to the setting, highlight statement. I will highly recommend these, those who are learning Snowflake. Many a times user will select the like this. This is really irritating. Do not do like this. No. You will mess up things. If you have to select this much, no, don't do that. Give semicolon, have the habit of giving semicolon, enable this highlight statement. So the moment you click on this, it will run entire piece of code will run it for you. Entire piece of code will run it for you. I'll create one table. Let me show you. I'll create one table. Transaction row. Everyone knows the create table command here, right? Create or replace transaction row. All the household keys, my integer, basket ID. This already we have discussed in the second and third videos. So I'm not going much into here. So one basic table I'll take, which doesn't have any foreign key. Let's talk about this one. Demographic row. Let's create this. So how you'll run? In the settings, you click on highlight statement, right? You'll have this and just you need to run it from here. Just you need to run it from here, right? So it will say successfully create. The best part of Snowset, it gives you the visualization also. It gives you all the query duration, how much time it takes, and everything status, how much it got filled, right? All the information will come here, right? This is how you should execute it. Execute it by highlighting the statement. Let's go back again by highlighting the statement. So if you want to create any blank worksheet, click on the plus sign. SQL worksheet is there. If you want a Python worksheet, click on Python worksheet. Python worksheet will get created for you. Right. And it says the snowpark package is required for Python worksheet. Right. The Python worksheet will get created for you where you can write your Python code. I'm deleting this because I don't need this. Right. See this. This worksheet I have created. It says testing worksheet. I have double click. You can rename it. Double click. You can rename it. 
right? There's a three dot here. What is the three dot? Rename, go to the parent folder, import SQL from file, move to, if you want to any move to, duplicate, format query, delete worksheet, show shortcut. All these options is there for you. If you want to delete it, just click on this three dot and your worksheet will get deleted. Delete worksheet. Let's delete it. So this worksheet is gone. This worksheet is gone, right? Worksheet is gone. Here, right? So this worksheet is gone. Now, so this is the first part. Second, right? Now, where you will see all your database and schema and table, where do you think you'll see all this worksheet, database and schema? You have the option here called data. This is your main area. This, you will be having your database. You will be having all the database, all the tables, which you have been creating in Snowflake or which you will be creating in Snowflake. Everything will fall here. Everything will fall here. Whatever the tables you have created, whatever the file formats you have created, everything will form here. Right? Entire thing will come. Any staging you have created, any table you have created, any file format if you have created, any pipe you have created, everything will come here in your data under database. Plus sign is here. If you want to create a new database, you know the option. Either you can write it the query, create database, or you can click on plus database and you can give the new database, new database name, new database. Right? And you can, this is the new database. Any comment you can write, this is the new database. This way you can create a new database. Your new database will get created. Right? Here you have the new database. Here. Like that you can create it here. Right. I have already created a database called retail. So I'll click on this. I'll click on this. Right. Retail details. I'll click on this. Retail. Where is retail? Retail is here. Right. Retail is here. Right. Retail is here. In this database, I will be working everything. If any schema is there, yes, public schema is there. Right. Public schema is there. What are the tables? What are the file format? This many tables I have created in this. Create command. Now, once you are there in your database, automatically this create will come into picture. I keep, I still keep getting all the messages from you, sir, how to create a table, how to create a table. All these informations will be available if you create your database. So the moment you create this database, this option will get enabled for you. This option will get enabled for you. Create table, standard, select external, everything, view, state, storage integration. See this. I've already covered Google Cloud is remaining. I will discuss that too. File format, sequence, pipe, stream, task, function, procedure, dynamic table. All this already I have discussed in my previous class. So here you get directly the option. Here you get directly the option. Right, thumbs, thanks, Tom. Here you get directly the options of creating it. Here you get directly the options of creating it. Now, I have created a database called uh, retail. Where is that? Here it is. Whichever. Huh. Here I created retails database, right? Tables also you can see. I can see all the table. I can see all the table, campaign description, transaction row, everything it will show you. Columns, what are the columns it has directly? So this is more organized, I believe. This is more organized, I believe, right? See this data also I can see it here. So I feel this snow site is much, much better compared to classic console. It is more user friendly once you uh, have the knowledge, once you've gone through the interface and all and directly get the option of loading the data. I'll show you this also. Directly you get the option of loading the data also. Loading, you can edit also. You can clone it also. You can drop it also. You can transfer ownership also. Just three dot. Feel free to explore this entire platform, right? Feel free to explore this entire platform. Everything is there. Click on this dot open in worksheet. It will open in worksheet directly. Directly it will open in your worksheet. Let's see. I have already used the retail website, right? So I'll create this. Let's create a transaction table. Let's create this transaction table first. I'm in retails public. Here you don't have to use use database. See the beauty. Use database doesn't because I'm already in that database. Settings, you just highlight the statement. Let's create a table. Let's create one table. Yeah. Transaction raw successfully created, right? Any data is there? Let's check. Data is not there. Let's upload the data. Now I've told you how you can upload the data. Let's see. Details. Go to the details. Go to the public. Go to the table. And 
go to your transaction row. Can you see this? One minute. You see this option. Preview data, add columns in editor. You can add your custom column also. View definition. If I click on view definition, this is the definition you will get about what is the code you have written it. View definition. Always three dot here comes into picture. Preview data. Any data is there? No data is there. Now, how do I load the data? There's an option called load data. Yes. Here it is hidden. You need to browse your code and you load your data. I'll show you. Documents. Downloads. I think it should be there in downloads. Ha, see this. Transaction one open. Next. Little bit option has changed. Little bit options they have hidden here and there that you need to explore. Now file format. File format. <coughs> Suppose I'm not creating any file format. You can create your custom file format also, or you can create live here itself. So I'll select CSV file, skip header. I will skip the header. Always skip the header because the header I don't want in one of the row. Field delimiter is comma, trim limit as false, leave this everything. Now, this option earlier in classic console, we used to get three options roll back and give the error. But here you get only two options. Which one you will select, guys? First or second? What do you think? Which one you will select? First or second? First one or second one? Suppose you have 1 million records. Will you select only valid data or you want all the data? Generally, we need all the data. So if, is there any description? See, just about it. Just about it. So I'll select the first option. I'll select the first option. You can click on source SQL also. You can click on source SQL also. It will give you the SQL code. Right? On error, about statement. It will simply, I will about it. This is the best practice which we follow. Okay? This is the best practice which we follow. So load data. Browse, transaction, next, file format, create a file format, skip one line, field emulator is comma, leave it, leave it, leave it, do not load data and click on next. Now see, the data will get loaded in this table. This is more organized, yes, 4,50,000 records were successfully inserted into the table. Right? Done. Now let's check whether the data is there or not. Here you go. You will see the data here. So this is how you load the table here manually. Rest all the steps are same. The way you have been following in the last 30 videos is exactly same. Nothing has changed. Just the interface part has changed. Just the interface part has changed. You can also create your custom CSV format, which I have given in the lecture number 34. Right. Suppose I don't want the file format there. I want my own custom format. I can write my code also for creating file format retail CSV and I can then select that. I'll show you how. Let me give the semicolon. Oh, semicolon is already there. Sorry, my bad. You see, so that's why you should highlight your statement. Right. So that you never get uh, confused which part of the code you are running it. Okay. Let's run this CSV format I have selected. Again, I want to load some data. So load data, browse. Let's load some more. Just I'm showing you. Now I don't have to create a CSV format. So manually also you can create CSV format. Here live also you can create the CSV format. Okay. I'm not creating manually. I'm selecting it. I'm selecting this because I have created this already. Right? I'll select this already. Click on next. Now this data will get loaded. Always click on the about statement, right? We're successfully inserted into the data. Done. Right? Correct. So this is how you will upload the table and all. Right? Same way, the way I have taught you classic console. Here just the option is hidden. Here just the option is hidden. Okay? Here just the option is hidden. Right, add columns in editor, view definition, preview data. You can preview the data also here. This is more organized, guys, compared to the classic console. I don't know why many people be texted me on LinkedIn. Sir, classic console is gone. Are so what it is gone? Still, the interface remains the same. You could have explored on your own. Many of my students have explored on their own. Yeah, you don't need my help on this. It's very simple. Nothing I'm teaching you new today. Just I'm showing you the interface. How does the interface look? How is your worksheet? Where on everything is placed? Right, where all everything is placed. Again, I can go back. Again, I can go to the data. 
again i can select my database i will see all the tables here file format whatever i can i can upload from here also transaction row i can upload from here also here also load data option is present same interface will come either you open it from there or you open it there both are one and the same both are one and the same right both are one and the same so app you will be having all these apps also web features so snowflake got integration with many apps you see here stripe data pipeline sap capital iq fundamental covid 19 epidemiological data you have the free data available guys you have the free data available use it learn snowflake you have the free data available unlimited access see covid 19 data you have what else you want all the data you have from the scratch worldwide address data us open census data all these data you will find easily in the marketplace if you go in the marketplace right you can check all your activity here which warehouse you have selected when you have ran who ran it in the which warehouse you have ran it every information in and out you can see this when it was started when it wasn't so i can manage it this only the snowflake administrator will have the access when you will be working in any it company you won't be having access to this he or she can tell who is using the more credits this is how we catch hold of the people who is consuming more that's why you use snowflake credits very very carefully whenever you are using it this is the admin section how much you have spent how much is your users 0.07 dollar when and where you are spending it how much which is the warehouse which is idle it has started resource monitor you can monitor your entire resource here 3.78 percent i have used only 3.78 percent i have used then your users and rules who are the users and what are the rules you have created it security all your security any policies if you have you can create a policy which you won't be needing it this is only the administrator part billing and terms any billing if you have enabled anaconda python package you can enable also grant access for use of anaconda provided oss python package in cyclover see snowflake got integrated with anaconda also now you can enable this right you can enable this yes i have enabled it i have enabled it in the next few minutes right again contacts any notification contacts you have and this is your account section this is your account link this is your account link this is your account link. Yes. This is your account link. First part is your user ID. This one is your user ID. First part. Anything after HTTPS before snowflake.computing.com is your user ID. This one. Username is different, guys. Do not get confused. Username you will have in the profile section. Username you have in the profile section. Username is Jala Prakash. But user ID is not Jala Prakash. User ID is this. User ID is this, which I have shown you. Go to the account section. Close this and copy here. This is your user ID. The first part. First part before snowflake.computing.com. Right? Snowflake.computing.com. So that's all you have it in this new UI. Nothing else. Everything you have the option here. You can edit the table. You can do anything. See, I can edit this table. All the options. I can clone the table. I can drop the table anytime. I can load the data. Everything you'll be having all in one shot in a much more organized manner rest all it remains the same this is just the dashboard which you want any dashboard if you want to create testing dashboard right which will show you all the result yeah new tile you can add the tiles also any tile which you want correct right so i'm not going into this this is not much required here just for the content we already the dashboard is there by the default so these are all my worksheet these are all my worksheet so here data is very very important guys anything anytime if you want to create a database you have to go inside the data you have to go inside the data right once you have this database created now you can do all those things whatever you want create all this create command create command will come only inside your database not like others right if you are in the database see after database what comes guys what is the chronology warehouse database right schema views table Right, this is the hierarchy warehouse database schema tape views table that's the hierarchy so if you go inside your database you will have only the schema option first schema will come now inside the schema since i am already in the public schema then my create option will get created i can have my table i can have my view i can have my stage storage integration which i keep talking about i can have the storage integration file format sequence pipe stream task function process all this has i've been covered in the subsequent video so inside your database inside your data you will be finding all these things all the file format everything you'll be finding this right 
You can create the file format by writing the code directly or using the option also, which I've shown you clearly in the previous, right? Which I've shown you previously. I can create my table standard, right? Standard table, create table, table name, or you can copy from the table. All this have been discussed in the previous class. In the Snowflake hack video also have discussed, right? So today's class was just about explaining the interface. Hope everyone is clear with this. Next time, I don't want to hear any doubt from you all. I'm not able to load data. I'm not able to see the views. No, it's very, very simple. All you have to remember, guys, is the data option. That's it. All you have to remember is the data option. And which is your username, which is your user ID. If you go to the profile, you will have this username. User, this is not the user ID. This is not the user ID. If you go to the admin section, if you go to your account section, then you will have this user ID. If you copy this, the first part is your user ID here. Right? So that's all what I have in this Snowflake new UI called Snow Site. Is it clear for all of you? Or you need any help, any doubt? If you have, let me know. That's all I have from my side for this one. Okay, hope you are clear. Right? Everything is there in the data. Just select the database, whatever you want. Select your table and it will open it for you. Yes, there's an option here. Just open in worksheet. If you want to open in this table in the new worksheet, you just need to click this. You just need to click this. Right? Already have the worksheet. Already have the worksheet. If you want to create any empty worksheet, just click on SQL worksheet and start practicing SQL code here. That's all, guys. That's all. Right? That's all you have here. Okay. Once you're here, you don't have to run this all this command. No, not required. Because if you have selected the database, Right, highlight the statement. You don't have just have to select this and you need to run it. Those who are asking shortcut to run is control shift enter. Control shift enter. Right, control shift enter. <laughs> That's the shortcut. Clear. Right. Okay. DA course will be starting in mid of August. Mid of August. Wait for that. Wait for that. I'll keep a very minimal cost. It's an eight-month rigorous course. I want all of you to be sincerely coming with me and studying it properly. Okay? Eight months of rigorous course where you'll be taught a lot. If you go outside to learn all this, you have to spend more than four to five lakh of rupees. Aram say easily, they'll charge you for this. Right? So it's a, not a six-month course. It's an exhaustive eight-month course. So make sure you are prepared with this. Right, along with YouTube, YouTube to available. Of course, YouTube will be there always. But Saturday, Sunday will be more systematic and customized. Right, and it will be exhausted two to three hours of session. So that's all from my side. If anyone has any doubt, feel free to comment in the video. Okay, please tell how to upload, how to upload CSV in quick way. I've told you, no, I've told you. Huh? Ashish, you are not following. Once you have created the table, once you have created the table, your table will come here. Either you can upload from here, load data quickly, browse. Either you can upload the data quickly from here, browsing, or, or you can go to the data, you can go to the data, you can go to the database, you can go to that particular table, and directly you can upload it from here, load data. That's all. Browse and upload the data, CSV, quickly. Just in two minutes, it will should be the done. Select whatever the records you want and upload it. Make sure it is in the proper format. There's not comma. There should not be any uh, uh, letter which is not recognized by the snowflake. Right? So all these things you have to take care. Clear? Right? Fine? So that's all. I told you it will be just a half hour session. Nothing much I have to teach you here. Just I wanted to explain you the new user interface. So your main is data. You should focus on this data column. Right? You should be focusing on this data. This is your main essence. Yes. This is where your entire thing is hosted. Entire thing is hosted. All your database, table, load data, everything is here. Columns, data preview, history, everything will come here. Right, if you want to see the big picture, or if you are in, already inside the worksheet, 
if you are already inside the worksheet, then, then what you should do, select, open this in worksheet, open this in worksheet, and then do it from there. Then do it from there. Or you can create an empty worksheet and can also start from there. Go to the worksheet section, click on the three dot or plus sign, click on SQL worksheet. If you have already the SQL file, if you want to load that, if you want to load that, just go to the three dots. Sorry, just go to the plus worksheet and click on this. Create a worksheet from SQL file. Upload the SQL file worksheet and you'll be having all those things. So explore these two, three dot and plus sign. Focus on the three dot here. That is very, very crucial for all of us. That's all from my side. If you have any doubt, do let me know. I'm done. Hope new UI is clear for all of you. So whatever videos you have seen, whatever the code I have been writing it, just you write it, you just write the same code in the worksheet. You'll get it. That's all it is. Same. It's just the interface, guys. Like how Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp interface sometimes changes. Same thing. Rest, it remains the same. What is the main job here? We need to execute our SQL query. Right? That's what we have been doing here. Okay. Fine. And those who have three to five years of experience or two years of experience in any cloud technology, or in, in Snowflake, if you have learned it properly, do share your resume. I'll refer you in my current company. Right? Not the fresher. Sorry. I cannot help the fresher right now. Only the experienced folks. Fresher opening will, will it come. I will surely help you all. Okay. And also in my course, I'll make sure that I forward your resume to the right recruiter. Right? I have got contact in almost every company. So I'll make sure that is done from my side. Whatever help I can give you, definitely I'll do that. But end is all about you. You need to master Snowflake, guys. Definitely. If you're mastering SQL, both MySQL and Snowflake is, should be on your tip of your tongue. Definitely. You cannot skip SQL. You cannot skip, skip Snowflake. You cannot skip MySQL. MySQL is gone. No one uses these days MySQL. Very few companies will use MySQL. Everyone has gone through cloud. Every company, even the startup company is moving towards cloud. So that's why I've started this. Next, I will be teaching the ETL tool, Metallion, soon, probably from the August first week onwards. So be prepared. Whose package? Whose package you want? Pressure package. Why are you worried about the package? First, get the job. That's more important. Package the milli jayega. Right? Package, anyhow, you will get it. Many of my students have got 8 LPA. I was very, very happy. Pressure earning 8 LPA in data analysis is really, really good salary. Really, really good. Many of the friends, many of my juniors have got it. Many of the folks who I have trained personally, they have got it. Right? Current benchmark is 7 to 8. Anything close to 7 to 8. Do not join below that. Especially I recommend. No. Once you start working in the company, they will slog you for hours. So you should... Know your value, how much you are selling. We all are here to sell ourselves, right? That's how the whole, how the whole company works. We all are here to sell ourselves. Of course, I'm selling myself. You are selling yourself. So you should know how worth you are. Why gold is costly? Why diamond is costly? Because they have their worth. So understand your worth, understand your value, and then quote. Do not join any company below, below 5 LPA. State red mark I'm throwing you. No. Do not join any company, even if it is any startup. Do not join below 5 LPA. Do not set the benchmark. It will be really, really painful for the fresher than. Do not join any company below 5 LPA. Clear cut, I'm telling you. Until unless you are getting enhanced salary, 40 to 45,000, do not join any company. We are in the 2023 century. Right? Just for the sake of job, I see people joining for 2 lakh LPA, 3 lakh LPA. 2 lakh, 3 lakh is the salary of the guard. You know how much guard earns? 15,000, 12,000. Then for what sake you have studied data analyst? For what sake you have done your graduation? For what sake you have studied this much? For what sake you have invested so much of money on your? Do not join below 5 LPS. A clear cut benchmark I'm setting you. Doesn't matter if you are from a non-tech tech. Doesn't matter. Do not join below 5 LPA. 5 LPA if they are giving you, good. Right? You will get in hand 38,000 at all. Right? Clearly I'm setting this agenda just for the sake of money. I've seen people slogging for hours just for 15,000. If you need 15,000, I, I will give you the job straight away. I've hired two interns. Already two interns are working. Satam is working under me. Right? Niharika is working under me. They're already getting paid. They're already working. 
right so do not join just for the sake of money no understand your worth understand your value doesn't matter if you are from sales background graduation or no any background irrespective of any background five lpa is the benchmark at least right and especially the engineering folk those who have completed engineering seven lpa you should quote that's what i recommend you should know how to negotiate your salary otherwise people will make you slog like like the british people have done for us indians right same thing will happen again so don't do that so don't do that right do not join below five lpa anything above five is good if you are completely fresh anything above five is good but don't join below five if you join five i'll tell you the enhanced salary enhanced salary you will get is 34000 that's how it works if you join on seven lpa enhanced salary you will get is 50000 claim for 50000 enhanced salary that's what i tell my people right if you get 50000 salary in the current really really good you will outsign in your career What type of data the file project needs to be done? Clean data or unclean data? Of course, it will be always unclean data. You will never get the clean data. Never expect clean data from the client. No. No, no, never. You will never get the once in a blue moon. Always it will be unclean data. Always. Always it will be unclean data. Always it will be unclean data. You will never get the clean data. Do not expect that. You will never have the clean data. You will have a lot of missing value, lot of null values, lot of EDA which you need to do it. Everything will come into the picture. That's where the beauty of Python comes into picture. If you want to excel in data analytics career, your SQL is bread and butter. Doesn't matter if you know Power BI, Tableau. Doesn't matter. SQL is the bread and butter. Invest four to five months on SQL. When I say SQL, entire SQL which I've covered in Snowflake, everything. Right from create table, create database, delete table, uh, uh, all this uh, storage integration, group by having joins, window function, everything. You cannot skip even a single topic. No. Many a times I have asked my candidate, what is lead? What is lag? How lead and lag work? Can you tell me the output of this query? Many people will do and they'll forget about lead and lag. No. Do not skip even a single topic. This is not a UPSC exam where 50% mark will land you uh, to be an IS. No. You have you have to master each and every topic of SQL and your Snowflake playlist will really, really help you. Case statement. Many a times I have to write case statement, 100 and 100 lines of case statement. To master all this concept, you should know how to compare rows. What is the concept which is involved at the back end? All these things I have discussed in my playlist. And of course, my paid uh, one will definitely will help you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, Nevani Sona. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. See, I'm not teaching in a traditional way. No. Whatever things are being done in the analytics industry, whatever I have done in the last seven years or six years, exactly the same thing I'm teaching you. It's not like that here you are doing mango, then you'll do something else, orange. No. This is how the project works. This is how things work in reality. That's the reason I have explained you storage integration. The most important concept, how Snowflake you can integrate with other Google Cloud. How Snowflake you can integrate with Azure? How Snowflake you can integrate with AWS? This is very, very important. Until unless you understand this, you won't be able to proceed further. Right now in my company, they are integrating Metallion. They are integrating Metallion with Snowflake. It's just a cakewalk because I already know how the storage integration is done from Snowflake to AWS. It will be just five minutes task. Just five minute task. If you know how to integrate one cloud with another, any cloud in the world, if you, you bring it, automatically you'll be able to do. That's why I recommend everyone learn Snowflake, including architecture, each and every command, everything should be on your fingertips. Right? Work hard and I'm here to help you whatever the best I can. I will definitely help you in that your career. Okay? So till then, keep learning and don't be in a hurry to finish the course and all. No. For data analyst, minimum, even the expert who is mastered in Python, SQL, and ML, even he or she will take six months. I was a Java developer two and a half years back. Still, I took six months. I took two years. Imagine for a data science. Two years I took. Two years. Without job, without anything. Thanks, Amit. So have patience. When you need a job, you need to master. You need to polish your skills. Right? Don't worry. Job will come automatically to you. If you have the right skills, it will automatically come. So polish work on your skills. I always say, if you have the skills, definitely it will land you in your favor. Right? Wait for the right time. Till then, keep.
keep learning keep progressing that's all i wanted to say and i'll come up with a new video of course when we're discussing about all the presently i'm working on the ui part i'm creating a website and everything so that i have to revamp this process payment integration all these things are happening in the back end so once that is done one live video will come up which you will see it and of course i'll take all your doubts everything right how the support system will work how you can interact how you can interact with me directly everything separate whatsapp group discord channel everything will be there so wait for that okay that's all guys good night and do share your love by subscribing to this channel do tell your friends and family right those who wants to proceed in the analytics industry you have my number you have my linkedin id just feel free to go through it add me if you have not done so and anyway anywhere you are stuck in your life if you feel like talking you can call me the best time to call me is after 11 pm it says 10 to 11 pm right back side 10 to 11 pm then any time after 11 pm you give me a call do not call me in the morning time do not call me in the evening time call me after 11 pm at night i'll be available till two o'clock okay i'll talk about more my about my course in the upcoming video stay tuned till then right check out the community channel if you have not voted and do check out the linkedin also analytics they are the poll i have shared right i think only 200 people have voted right i have the around 3000 subscriber i have touched so thanks to you all for uh, subscribing it so let's see let's make it a big platform where you can learn all number is already there on my linkedin check my linkedin the cover picture you will find my number check my linkedin cover picture you will find over there check my linkedin cover page you will find over there ah check my linkedin you will find over there right number is there already okay right bye good night i'll see you next time with one new video google cloud is still pending google cloud some configuration issue is happening that's why i'm not able to prepare that video thank you so much guys do well and do not lose the hope right do not lose the hope okay bye bye take care and good night